short video. Some people have seen this video. I wanted to show it here. Viewer discretion advice. I thought it was important to show people what not to do, how to deal with dogs in situations like this. Hopefully, you don't walk this close to an unleashed dog, or even if the dog is leashed. But this is in a different country. And this is one example of why I'm disappointed with many of these other countries who are not dog lovers, but they tolerate stray dogs. All right? Watch this. So this guy ran into the street and got hit by a truck. Now, in this situation, your best option is to stop and freeze and stand there. Because even if there were no road here, chances are you wouldn't get away if the dog actually wanted to attack you. You wouldn't be able to get away anyways. Your best option is to stop, maybe even walk toward the dog. I think if this man would have done that, he would have saw that the dog was actually bluffing because it looked like the dog tried to maintain space between itself and the man when it had the opportunity to actually bite the man. Never show fear. You can only end up like this man if you do that. So stop, look directly at the mutt, and do not show any fear. If you do that and you're armed, it will give you time to draw your weapon. Make sure you are a licensed carrier and you have your concealed weapons permit. Very important. Somebody also left this video and this is an example of what will happen in that type of situation. Listen to this. A Brevard County teen is devastated. A neighbor shot and killed her dog right in the middle of the street. Palm Bay police say the guy who pulled the trigger says he did it in self-defense. News 6's James Sparvero tells us why charges are not being filed. On Columbia... You hear that? Charges are not being filed. In the street, there are blood stains where the owner says her dog was shot three times. The woman saying she's devastated, losing her best friend. I can't think about anything about my dog. She was like my everything. Everything is tragically different now for 19-year-old Michaela Butcher. Her brindle pit bull Sammy put to sleep. The dog paralyzed by bullets. There was two bullets in her lungs. She would have needed two surgeries. and I don't want to put her through that. Palm Bay police say the dog was shot at 9 in the morning Thursday by a 53-year-old neighbor walking his own dog. Sammy was right here. A report says Sammy was on a leash, but she pulled a stake out of the ground that the leash was tied to. Complaint is advised he was attacked by the pit bull and he did shoot the dog. Police say the man said Butcher's dog bit him and hurt his own dog too. He said before shooting his 380 handgun, he tried kicking the dog. And you never saw her act aggressive to you or any of your neighbors no, or never. any other animals? My dog was an angel. She would not hurt a thing. We called the neighbor. Yeah, right. But he didn't pick up, nor did he call us back. He has a concealed weapons permit and is not facing charges. I will be putting a cross. Did you hear that? He has a concealed weapons permit and will not be facing charges. Right here in the memory of my dog. The police report takes his side, saying he acted in self-defense. The police take his side. He acted in self-defense. Now, that is the law here in Ohio as well. You always have that group of people who just say, this dog is a violent breed, so perhaps they take the side of the man who was walking their dog. How do you respond to that? Pitbulls are misjudged because of how other people have treated them. <laughs> They're misjudged because of how other people have treated them. You remember what I said about these people having a low IQ. Can somebody tell me what that means? I thought people's opinions about pit bulls was based purely on statistics. 
everybody I talk to or that I read their comments or watch their videos who are against pit bulls, they always cite statistics. So what is she talking about? What is she talking about? You cannot pay these people any attention. Many of these dog nuts, I would say the vast majority, they have very, very poor cognitive skills. And this is why you need to be armed. There's nothing worse than a person who is not that bright, who is also in possession of a deadly beast. Right? Very important, especially now that it is getting hot outside. One more thing, I saw people's comment in the most recent live stream, and yes, Gling is no longer a moderator. I think he just got burned out with it. I saw some comments in the previous stream where he said that he never asked to be a moderator. I guess another moderator brought to his attention that he actually banned some people who are real supporters of the uh, channel and I think he just got or at least this is what I think I think he just got disappointed that he actually did that that he banned actual fans and you know was just didn't want to be a moderator anymore and that's why I made the statement that I don't want moderators to feel pressured. I don't, I don't want you to feel like uh, you have some type of uh, duty to weed out dog nuts. Because I feel like dog nuts, they always make their presence felt. However, sometimes they don't. That is why I was, I sort of understood where Gling was coming from. Because you see, these dog nuts, they will come into my chat rooms and they will pretend to be a supporter some of them do this and they will just sit back and make little snide sarcastic remarks that not many people will catch so Gling was receptive to those types of people it reminds me of like the military like the military likes to get people with different social skills and ability to read other people in on their intelligence team, right? And I felt like Gling was good at weeding out those types of people because people who support the content, they make it known that they support the content for the most part. But we are human. Maybe he did uh, mistakenly ban some people who are real supporters and, you know, he was just burnt out about it. But no problem. We have other moderators. And if you see someone, simply tag me in the chat room and I will get rid of them. You know, sometimes there are no moderators in the chat room. And I definitely want to maintain a dog nutter free area here on YouTube. So until the next live stream, as we continue with this ruthless crusade against these worthless mutants and their enabling owners.